but aides almost immediately suggested the meeting could still get back on track. And after a suitably conciliatory statement from North Korea, Trump said the same. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that since the letter, the North Koreans have been engaging with the U.S. Trump views the meeting as a legacy-defining opportunity to make the nuclear deal that has evaded others, but he pledged to walk away from the meeting if he believed the North wasn't serious about discussing dismantling its nuclear program. U.S. officials cast the on-again, off-again drama as in keeping with Trump's deal-making style, and reflective of the technically still warring leaders testing each other. In his book, The Art of the Deal, Trump wrote, the worst thing you can possibly do in a deal is seem desperate to make it. That makes the other guy smell blood, and then you're dead. The best thing you can do is deal from strength, and leverage is the biggest strength you can have. White House officials maintained that Trump was hopeful the North was merely negotiating but that he was prepared for the letter to mark the end of the two-month flirtation. Instead, the officials said, it brought both sides to the table with increasing seriousness, as they work through myriad logistical and policy decisions to keep June 12 a viable option for the summit. Kim is a former military intelligence chief and now a vice chairman of the North Korean ruling party's Central Committee. He will be the highest level North Korean official to travel to the United States since 2000, when late National Defense Commission first Vice Chairman Jo Myung Rock visited Washington, South Korea's Unification Ministry said. Meanwhile, a team of American diplomats is holding preparatory discussions with North Korean officials at the DMZ. The group first met with its counterparts Sunday, and was seen leaving a Seoul hotel on Tuesday, but it was unclear whether they went to Panmunjom, a village that straddles the border inside the DMZ. The U.S. officials are led by Sung Kim, the U.S. ambassador to the Philippines, who formerly was the U.S. ambassador to Seoul and a top negotiator with North Korea in past nuclear talks. It includes senior officials with the National Security Council and the Pentagon. Moon, who has lobbied hard for nuclear negotiations between Trump and Kim Jong-un, held a surprise meeting with the North Korean leader Saturday in an effort to keep the summit alive. Kim reported from Seoul, South Korea. Associated Press writers Jill Colvin and Matthew Lee contributed to this report.